Hello, I'm Bill Griffith. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to invoke the pizza price decision service that I previously built using IBM's Operation Decision Manager on the cloud from my pizza ordering process that I also previously demoed using IBM's Business Process Manager. Uh, both of these are fully managed cloud platforms uh, by IBM. Now the nice thing about separating my rules from my process is that I can use these rules from any number of applications. For example, I could send out email campaigns with my latest specials, uh, and my email tool could use the same set of rules that my business process manager uses. Uh, additionally, by pulling these out as their own standalone uh, decision service, uh, I can ensure consistency across all the applications that you want to use those same uh, rules. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my instance of uh, BPM on Cloud. And you'll see that there is a link here in the development. Uh, environment to download the process designer. So I'm going to download that. So you'll recall in my previous demo that I built the business process using just the browser. And if I'm just orchestrating people in my workflow, then that works well. However, if I need to integrate external systems in conjunction with the human steps, uh, then I need to download the Eclipse-based development tool uh, for creating those integration services. Uh, so that's what I'm doing now. <clears throat> Now, while that's downloading, I'm going to jump over to my uh, uh, rule designer and create a REST client to invoke the decision service that I wrote previously. Now, if you go over to the browser, <clears throat> to the IBM Knowledge Center for uh, Operational Decision Manager on Cloud, uh, there is a section called Calling the Decision Service by Using the REST APIs. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this code and modify it slightly. You see it has you know, the mini loan service. I'm gonna use my pizza price service uh, and pass in my credentials uh, and the JSON object uh, to do that. Now, <clears throat> you'll see that this, uh, this example code uses the Apache HTTP client. So I'm gonna copy that and um, go download uh, those jar files so that that uh, code can use it. So I go here and I'm on a Windows environment so I'm just going to download this one and you see that's downloading. Okay so that's downloaded now I'm going to uh, open it and let's just unzip it to the desktop. Okay so I'm going to create a new uh, class in here <clears throat> for my uh, REST client. So I'm going to call it um, Bill's Pizza Rules <clears throat> Client. And now I'm going to paste in the code that I downloaded from the Knowledge Center. Uh, and you'll see that I modified the main to, um, uh, to invoke the static method. I created a new static method uh, using the code that was previously there. Uh, and then this allows me to test it from the command line, which is always a good practice to do before I go uh, inserting it into BPM. And you'll see here's the decision service that I created previously. So you'll see it's missing some stuff, as expected. It needs some um, uh, jar files because it's using an HTTP client. So I'll point to those that I just downloaded over here. Go to lib. I'm going to need the codex. <clears throat> I'm going to need uh, commons logging. I'm going to need the client, and I'm going to need core. I'm going to do OK, and you'll see all the errors went away. Now I can test this by just running uh, this project. I guess I need to save it first, and you'll see the price came out. In this little example, I passed in the veggie medium, and it came back with the price. OK, so now I need to export this. I'm going to export this as a jar file right here. And I'll call it Bill's Pizza Client. Do next and do finish. Save it. All right, now I can close this down and jump over to my process designer, which has un uh, finished downloading. Uh, unzip that. Let's just put it here. Now I um, 
uh, like to specify which system it's going to connect to. Uh, so I do uh, this, but the service it's going to. Okay, so that has unzipped, and now I'm going to install it as, as not an admin, it doesn't matter. Okay, so that finished installing. Now I can close this. I don't need the Apache. Uh, and then I can launch that process designer. Okay, so the process uh, designer is up and I'll just close the getting started and you'll see this is the uh, pizza app that I built previously and you'll see down here that is connected to my instance you'll see my pizza ordering process now before I modify that I'm uh, going to upload the uh, rest client uh, that I just created to uh, invoke it from inside of here so I'm going to use my pizza jar do okay and then I need a couple of those Apache uh, client jars as well so I'm gonna go find those that's in here it's live do the codex I'm gonna do the client And I'm going to do core. All right, now that's up. Let me close those. So now I'm going to go into the implementation and I'm going to create a new integration service. Like I said, if you're doing more advanced things to integrating with uh, back end systems, uh, then you can use this Eclipse tool to do that. So let's just call this get pizza prices and I'll do finished. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this Java integration service and connect it up and let's just call it uh, call ODM. We'll wire it in quickly. And then I'm gonna specify the details of it. So it's going to point to my uh, jar file and then I'm going to specify which method and this is the method that I create a static method uh, with the uh, URL for my RESTful client the username the password and the uh, Java uh, the JSON object that I'm going to pass into the decision service so it can invoke that uh, decision service uh, instance for this specific data okay now uh, I need to specify the uh, parameters of this uh, service uh, in BPM. So as I said, the first parameter is actually, uh, as you can see right here, it's the URI. I'm going to copy that uh, over. You see right here, here's that signature. The bot pop back over here. And I'm going to paste that in. I'm just hard coding it uh, for demo purposes. All right, so that's in. Now I need to specify my credentials. Again, I'm just hard coding it. Uh, normally you would use these environment variables uh, to do that. Then my uh, password. And then I need a variable for passing in the JSON. So this is going to be dynamically built. Okay, so I need to create a variable that I'm going to pass into this service. So I'm going to create a new input variable, and it's just going to be called uh, pizza order uh, JSON. And then I'm going to create an output variable also called uh, pizza response JSON, for example. Let's initialize this one. Okay, now back in my calling I can point to that uh, variable so in here I can use this little pop-up and choose my input variable and then likewise I need to point to my output variable 
Okay, so I created this integration service and now I can save it. Uh, so now I can use that integration service from my diagram. And I'm going to drill into this first task. You'll recall that I created a very uh, basic uh, coach. I let the default uh, coach generate it from BPM. Uh, and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag a button in here between the price and the cost. And let's call this button lookup pizza price. Now, obviously, in a production system, you'd probably do a, a non-blur or on-exit of these fields, and then you'd call this, uh, which IBM BPM allows you to do that. Uh, just for our purposes, I'm going to make it simple with a lookup button uh, instead of the logic that says, you know, this is filled in, but this one's not, uh, etc. cetera. Uh, we're going to keep it simple here. So I go back to my diagram, and now I'm going to pull in that uh, service that's uh, my REST client. So I'm going to call this my get pizza price from ODM. And I need to specify that integration service I just created, get pizza prices. <clears throat> okay. Now to call this, I got to pass in some data. So you'll see the data to the form is the input order and the output order, but I also need data that's in JSON format. This is a you know, complex type. Uh, I'm just gonna grab some of the fields of that and then pass that into my REST service as JSON. So I'm gonna do that by creating a new uh, private variable called pizza order input. And then I need a variable for the output. Okay. Now I'm going to jump back over to my diagram and I'm going to wire this in. So on that button, notice it, notice the button that I uh, insert it. And then it's just going to loop back to the HTML form. Uh, now I need to map these private variables to call into this service. So I go to my data mapping and I'm going to point to my input variable and it's going to come back as my output variable. Now you'll note that the format of uh, the JSON is going to be different than the format of um, than the format of the uh, variables in here. These uh, I don't need all of this data I just need the JSON I'm, so I'm going to build this JSON. So the easy thing to do 857 allows you to do pre and post processing scripts uh, right here, which is nice. I don't have to put any additional JavaScript to initialize things. So you'll see the uh, <clears throat> BPM makes it easy to, uh, with code complete, to find uh, the right variables that you want. Choose the input variable, and I'm going to drill in to the specific uh, pizza type. I'll we'll close that. All right, and I use the customer state because I'm going to show you later how to uh, add another rule to your existing rules uh, that gives a discount depending on the state. So after it comes back, the format is going to be in JSON. So I'm going to parse out the price, um, the price value from the return, the restful return. So the JSON dot parse, which is all available out of the box. All right, there you have it. So I can save that. All right, so let's test it out in my process diagram uh, from the browser. I'm gonna start the task, claim the first task, and you'll see there's my new button, look up uh, pizza price, and I'm gonna do a veggie uh, medium, and hit the lookup button. Voila, there's the price. If I made it a large, to look up, you'll see the price is different. So there you have it, BPM on cloud, calling ODM on cloud.